Hi there beautiful people, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. It's 7 a.m. here almost. Uh, it's, uh, I think it's a Monday, yes. And uh, I'm here to do one video for you guys. Uh, it's from House of Jean-Paul Gaultier. We're gonna be comparing uh, same fragrance from two different formulations. Uh, this is gonna be Jean-Paul Gaultier, Ultra Males uh, Vintage versus New Version. And then talk about reformulation as we are facing some questions in the group. And uh, you know, uh, there is a little bit of confusion. So I'm gonna clear that up. And I'm gonna try to make a video where I'm gonna answer, uh, should you be looking at buying Ultra Male by Jean-Paul Gaultier? Stick to the original Lamal. Okay, let's bring that up as well. Uh, should you be talking about uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier Lamal or some possible alternatives, okay? Uh, these are, again, just my personal thoughts. It's not uh, universal, like absolute true or something like that. Remember that. And when I say, when I do reviews, everything, I do it from my, entirely from my personal perspective, from my country. My market is basically within Bangladesh. I don't have much idea about international market, uh, what's being sold at how much, which one is available, which one is discontinued. So some of our foreign members do update once in a while. But always remember, it doesn't really mean if a fragrance is available in your country, uh, it's gonna be available in our country as well, or it's cheaply found at your place, the same for us. No, not the case. Sometimes due to COVID, in the last two years, fragrance prices are going high because of the more uh, air, you know fair charge people are paying on the ship whatever it's cargo so it's gone up so fragrances are seeing a little bit of price rise i'm going to talk about that and uh, i bought a couple of backup bottles so we'll talk about it so jean paul gaudi ultra this is my very first bottle as you can tell the bottle is almost finishing but actually it, this is the bpi version that i have where does it say bpi let me try to show you it's the, basically the old version made in france uh, bpi it says here bpi the paint almost came off Okay, I'll show you the new one as well. So this one basically after, I think I bought this in 2015 or 16, either one. I don't remember exactly, but this was my very first fragrance from this house. One of the very first fragrances that I bought in my fragrance journey. And I loved it. Absolute love. It's like introduction by Jeremy and Mark loved it. All the reviewers more or less loved it. Some people called it a little bit feminine, but on most part, it was very well received. It's a, basically a Flanker to Lamal, and I also am uh, like lucky to have a BPI version of Lamal, but Lamal now is changed uh, just like Ultra Male. They have the new Puig version of Puash, P E U I G. Uh, so Lamal basically is a hit, used to be clubbing banger, just like 1 million. If you are already you know informed about this fragrance, you can skip the video, no problem. Just a discussion. So Lamal basically, I found out. <laughs> It's like a, not a fragrance for proper summer. It's a like winter time, really last project that Tonka, that almost barbershoppy feel, that mint, lavender, you know, the uh, what do you call the vanilla in this. Very, very uh, sweet and powdery and dreamy, kind of a sexy. And this one is more sweeter version of this one, more modern. So what happened with Ultra Male is that Ultra Male was with me for about five, six years, okay? Then one fine day I tried to spray it because I tried to save my spray, it used to be here, okay? And I tried to save the spray because this was, uh, they released the Puig version, I'll come to the Puig version with my next two bottles. But one day I took it out, I sprayed it and I felt like the off note is like, the top note is like kind of off, something's wrong, it's more uh, alcohol, it's not that sweet bubble gum, the pineapple pear thing is gone. And I really realized that the fragrance basically it was more air in there, so basically it went bad. And I didn't want to throw it away. I keep it in my room air freshener or my, you know, sometimes, you know, the house I spray once in a while just to, you know, because the dry down basically still smells good. So what I did was I did buy a backup bottle of Ultra Mill uh, without knowing that this was a vintage. I bought it from one page they didn't know. And they, I actually bought it for about $65, more or less for 125 mil. This is 125 mil. You can find 30 mil, 75 mil, I guess. This one, 125 and big 200 ml. So I was very happy that when I got another BPI version, as you can see, side by side, I have two BPI versions, okay? Uh, so this is still good, okay? I did decant it uh, like halfway, I used halfway, but now I saved the sprays. So this one, the juice level is here. As you can tell, this is all, I kept it for myself. And you don't need more than that when you have a huge collection. So what happened was, I think somewhere uh, like two years back or three years back, I don't remember exactly when, I think 2019 or so, they changed the formulation to this one the Puig version. As you can tell, the bottoms are a bit different, writings are different, and this one will say Puig, the sliding is so small, this one will say BPI. So yeah, they look identical. The bottle-wise, there's not much difference, the color-wise, color is exactly everything same. The S is nice, still the same, shiny asses. <laughs> so the dark bottle, it says Gauthier at the back, identical, just that bottom changed. 
So another significant difference, I don't have the boxes right here, the tin can, but when you buy the older version, like this is the older version, right? It will give you the typical, that plastic holder at the base. And the new one will give you this whole podium of red color. So when you open, you will see red, you know it's the newer wig version. So what are the differences? We'll just have one spray and talk about it and uh, let you know about the reformulation as well as which one should you be buying or should you be buying ultra male at all or not. So this one I'm starting with the uh, older formulation. Okay, let's just go here. Okay, just go a little bit because I love this perfume and I don't want to waste the juice that much. Okay, that's the uh, old formulation. The new formulation, we're going to go the exact same amount. Let's just go a little bit. Okay, I just small, small burst. Okay, so old version is in my left hand, new version is in my right hand. Yeah, it can get a little confusing. So let the cell down. Okay. <coughs> Sorry, first thing early in the morning when you smell without coffee. Okay, immediately you can tell they are the exact same fragrance with minute differences. First of all, the older formulation was so much stronger in the opening. I really get that intense. Every single note is just amped up in the older version, the BPI version. And it does have a very strong statement. It's very sweet. It's very much fruity. And it's right there, it's like a bomb, you know, it's like a nuclear bomb kind of sweetness. I remember, you know, when I had this back in the days, I was like getting beast mode performance even from the summer, you know. So basically, it's a beast mode and every single note that you get from this is exact same as the new formulation. The new formulation, side by side, it smells a little bit tame. I'm not going to say uh, this is... This the new one is super weak compared to this. No, it's just the opening. Obviously, when reformulations happen or they change or make it a little bit weak, it happens with every fragrance. Lanvin de Lom, Sauvage, uh, Diorum Intense. Every fragrance is just going down a little bit because perhaps the company is diluting it, you know, to make more money. It could be any reason. But in general, only difference I'll tell you. Uh, there are two differences. The first difference is the opening of the BPA version is so much stronger, and the dry down is exact same as this one. But this one. The new version is a little bit more citrusy, watery, and it's more bearable. If you hated the ultra sweetness of this, this one is actually better for people who wear this. Second thing is dry down wise, many people say they actually get very good performance just like that. But I would say about two hours or three hours of difference with the vintage formulation compared to the uh, Puig. The Puig lasts a little bit two to three hours less. Okay. But the ultimate performance wise, this is not like a two, three hours. Okay. It does have a four to five hours push, which is still a lot. In the cold months, colder months, you'll get maybe up to five to six hours in the on your shirt and stuff. Okay, so it's not a bad uh, thing after all. Yes, but got worse over time compared to this. I will admit, it's no uh, secret. But this one, check this out. The older formulation, the sellers, those who know the BPA version, they're selling it for hundred fifty dollars in Bangladesh. I saw it, and this one is still being sold. Was being sold about sixty sixty five bucks even a few months back. Recent times as the price in one page, they're asking for 85 bucks. Okay, so reformulated or not, there's another issue, but prices have gone high. So now coming to the discontinuation of Ultra Male, the big uh, debate, so many reviewers, so many like George talked about it, Max Forey talked about it, there's a forum in Fragrantica, many other reviewers, they got the mail, and even my good friend, brother Victor, you know, he actually got confirmation from Jean-Paul Gaultier, yes. So this is gonna be, gonna be discontinued. It's been in the news for some time. But today what I realized, you know, after doing the video yesterday, uh, there was like some of my friends asking my group like, hey Joy, check this out in the United States, you know, it's still available. So I did check, but to my surprise, you know, like the fragrance is still available in UK, USA. But as George says, they are in their limited uh, quantity. What it means basically they will produce less and slowly they will phase it out perhaps, okay, but still available. But here is the effect, the prices have gone high, okay. So some of the shops who have older, uh, like let's say even Puig collection, okay, they have this one from the old collection. They're still available in 65, under $70, not 85 yet. So that's why I was trying to mention a point that perhaps if you like that DNA, you can get a 200 ml, which is going to be better value, okay, uh, ml per ml. If you like the DNA, if you like, especially again, the bottle, some people, you know, I can give you exact same fragrance, but in a different bottle, people don't like it. They like these classic bottles, okay. Many reasons, if you have been a fan of a fragrance, you know, but I understand many people hate it too. So, you know, but on most part, I get Ultramel is a very big compliment puller. People love this fragrance. It's sweet. Sweet perfumes are liked by women as well. Women feel like they want to wear it too. So it's ultimately a very popular fragrance and sells a lot. So now, 
uh, should you be buying ultra male if you like that fragrance yes you actually absolutely should but you should not like uh, do sort of like you know like panning buying like stock up like 400 ml thousand one liter uh, you know no need to do that you know because that is insane you never you will use that perfume unless you have intention to sell it much later but I did say in my some of my reviews I have a better alternative for you for a budget if you talk about uh, value I did say after 9 p.m. is a fantastic fragrance it smells a lot like ultra male a lot of our friends in the community do agree and I would definitely sell this fragrance Afnan made a masterpiece here you know like so heavy bottle nice bottle cap uh, so you can easily get this for much cheaper price tag less than half smells a lot like ultra male with a lot more citrus and it doesn't really change it doesn't have that powdery effect on me like ultra male has this powdery sweetness coming from vanilla and the lavender but this one has a tonka bean sweetness with a citrusy fruity vibe it stays the same linear throughout the whole life and it does last a long time sometimes i would actually feel it lasts longer than the quick version of ultra male but here's the issue uh ultra male after a while let's see you can't find it anymore but you have the craving for exact same opening of ultra male you will not find it in any other uh let's say uh what it called clones or something there was another fragrance i think one of our brother from uk reviewer he does love it uh he loves and got backup of zara gourmand leather so uh this fragrance i still have amount significant amount of juice left this is discontinued now hard to find whatever but great performer the very first release was very good performer i love this as well very nice fragrance it has very good performance as well but again hard to beat ultra male but for the price those you cannot beat but the thing is not just ultra male any fragrance you have a craving for perhaps you bought an excellent clone but later you if you uh, let's say over the time any fragrance got discontinued right slowly they got phased out accord jason's i can't find it anymore uh, let's say m7 you can't find it anymore there was a time people didn't believe it would disappear but it did right so one fine day if you actually craving for ultra male you will want to have a bottle but it's not a must have if you never were a big fan in the first place okay but then let me give you one last uh, substitute which i really feel is right in between lamal and ultra male which is the new masterpiece is lamal le parfum this is definitely a fragrance i keep saying how good it is how much worthy it is you know it's a great clubbing king it's a compliment puller it's so modern you know it got everything it got cardamom iris all those big hits it's in this okay it got this typical sweetness it smells a little bit different it never smells bad in any day it's just a beautiful little perfume and no uh what you call the reformulation issue with the brand new release right it's been one and a half year but this is a 200 ml that i have i will buy perhaps one more 200 ml because i love this fragrance a lot so you can upgrade it from lamal and ultra male if you feel these two fragrances are too weak doesn't cut it for you too pricey you can upgrade to this this is still pricey but it's very good performer so basically that's my ultra male vintage versus uh, new uh, formulation of puig uh, bpa versus puig of course general consensus the older version if you can score it's a better fragrance no doubt but is it better fragrance at 150 dollars compared to 70 or 80 dollars for the same amount of juice in bpi i'm not quite sure okay but again they're the same exact dna smell wise same just the performance wise every single note is amped up in the bpf bpf version compared to pui but if this one goes out of the market even this one will be hard to find forget about the uh, bpf version i hope you get my point so try it you know try it from a friend get a sample you can find those official samples and never blind by fragrance you know i never say in my journey that you blind by but if there's any other if there's no other option you know if you ask me if ultra male is worth buying from my perspective yes it's a fantastic fragrance i love this uh, i get a pineapple accord from this is just juicy fruity sweet uh, just lovey dovey fragrance okay thank you very much for watching let's do a morning thoughts episode which is going to be a little bit of a serious topic see you soon have a nice day bye bye